How to register and log in to your Calgary Transit Access trip booking account. You will need to have a City of Calgary MyID account in order to book trips online through Calgary Transit Access trip booking. You can access MyID by visiting calgary.ca, scroll down to the bottom of the page, then click on MyID. Next, select Sign into MyID Now. A new page will open. This is the page you will log into each time you want to use Calgary Transit Access Trip Booking. You may want to bookmark this page or make it a favorite. If you are new to MyID, select Create a MyID Account. Enter all of the required information as indicated. The username can be made up of letters, upper or lower case, numbers, dashes, or underscores. You will know the username you entered is valid and available when the validation text appears. Username is available. The password must be between 8 and 16 characters in length. You must use at least one lowercase letter, one uppercase letter, and one digit. Next, read and agree to the Terms of Use and Privacy Policy. For security reasons, you must check the box next to I'm not a robot. Once all the fields are completed, click on the Create button. The Create button is only activated and ready to click when all the fields are completed correctly. A Verify Email page will appear. You will receive an email shortly to the registered email address that contains a validation code. You can copy and paste the validation code into the one time passcode field on the Verify Email page. Click Submit. You will be taken to the MyID homepage. You can now register for Calgary Transit Access Trip Booking. Click on Open a Service and you will be brought to the MyID Service Links page. Click on Transportation to view the available services. Find Transit Access Trip Booking and click the heading. You will be prompted to create a link between your MyID account and your Calgary Transit Access Trip Booking account. You will only need to complete this information once. Enter your Calgary Transit Access registration number, followed by your Calgary Transit Access PIN number. Then click on Submit. A message will appear in a green box indicating your account has been linked up successfully. Click on Go to Transit Access Trip Booking to complete the process. It may take a few seconds for the connection to finish, and you will be brought to your At A Glance homepage. Please note that for future logins, you will need to log in to your MyID account, click on Open a Service, find and click Transit Access Trip Booking, and you will be brought directly to your At A Glance homepage. How to book a regular trip. A regular trip, also called a subscription or recurring trip, can be scheduled to repeat weekly or monthly. Regular trips can be one-way, round, or multi-trips. How to book a regular one-way trip. A one-way trip is one trip from an origin to a destination and does not include a return trip. To book a regular one-way trip, select Book a Trip from the top menu bar. Select Regular Trip. Select the one-way option. Start by filling in your origin or starting location labeled A. Your home address will be entered by default but can be changed. Type in the address or landmark. Click on the heart icon to select from your favorite addresses or click on the clock icon to select from a list of recent addresses you've entered. You can also find the location you want on a map by clicking on the map icon. 
Landmarks are places that have predetermined pickup and drop-off locations and are identified with a building icon. Non-landmarks have a pin icon. Next, fill in your destination, labeled B, by typing the address or landmark, selecting a favorite or recent address, or finding the location on a map. To clear the address entered, click on the X. If you want to reverse your origin and destination, click on the two arrows labeled Reverse. Once you've entered an origin and a destination, you can view them on the map by clicking Show on Map. To close the map, click Hide Map located in the bottom. Next, choose the time of your trip. You can choose between Depart At, which is the time you want to leave your origin, or Arrive By, which is the time you want to be at your destination. To select your arrival or departure time, choose the hours and minutes in the drop-down menus then select AM or PM. Now choose your riding options. If you're traveling with another passenger, check the companion box. If you have any assistive devices listed on your profile, they'll be shown here. If you are traveling with your assistive device, leave this box checked. If your companion will be traveling with an assistive device, click Choose a device to add. Select the device from the drop-down menu, then click the plus icon to add it to your trip. To remove an assistive device, click on the X. Next, choose the time period and frequency for your regular trip. Select the date you want the regular trip to start on and the date you want it to end on. Leave the end date as never to have the trips repeat indefinitely. Choose whether you want the trip to repeat weekly or monthly. For weekly trips, select the day or days of the week for the trip and if you want the trip to repeat every one, two, three, or four weeks. If you want your regular trip to occur on holidays, Check the Preserve Service During Holidays box. For monthly trips, choose which day of the month you want the trip to occur. The blue info bar will tell you the first occurrence of your trip. Review your trip details, riding options, and frequency to make sure they're correct. Then click Search Trip. Here's a summary of your regular one-way trip, including the start date, end date, repeat frequency, and if the trip will be preserved on holidays. If you want to see a map of your trip, click Show on Map. This will show the location of your origin, A, and your destination, B. Click on the Close Window icon on the top left to close the map. Review your trip details. You can click on Modify Request if you want to go back and change any details. If everything's correct, click Continue. If you want to add a building type or specific entrance for an address, you can do that here. For landmark locations, you won't be able to add custom instructions. Enter a phone number if you want to be notified before your pickup. The contact number on your profile will be entered by default. Click Submit Request. You have successfully booked a regular one-way trip. From here, you can email your trip details, book another trip, view all your scheduled trips, or view your trip details. How to book an occasional trip. An occasional trip is a trip that will only happen once. There are three types of occasional trips, one-way, round, or multi-trips. How to book an occasional one-way trip. A one-way trip is one trip from an origin to a destination and does not include a return trip. To book an occasional one-way trip, select Book a trip from the top menu bar. Select Occasional Trip. Select the one-way option. Start by filling in your origin or starting location labeled A. Your home address will be entered by default but can be changed. Type in the address or landmark. Click on the heart icon to select from your favorite addresses or click on the clock icon to select from a list of recent addresses you've entered. You can also find the location you want on a map by clicking on the map icon. Landmarks are places that have predetermined pickup and drop off locations and are identified with a building icon. Non-landmarks have a pin icon. Next, fill in your destination, labeled B, by typing the address or landmark, selecting a favorite or recent address, or finding the location on a map. To clear the address entered, click on the X. If you want to reverse your origin and destination, click on the two arrows labeled Reverse. Once you've entered an origin and a destination, you can view them on the map by clicking Show on Map. To close the map, click Hide Map located on the bottom. 
Next, choose the time of your trip. Click on the calendar icon to select the date. You can book an occasional trip up to four days in advance. You can choose between depart at, which is the time you want to leave your origin, or arrive by, which is the time you want to be at your destination. To select your arrival or departure time, choose the hours and minutes from the drop-down menu, then select AM or PM. Now choose your riding options. If you're traveling with another passenger, check the companion box. If you have any assistive devices listed on your profile, they'll be shown here. If you are traveling with your assistive device, leave this box checked. If your companion will be traveling with an assistive device, click Choose a device to add. Select the device from the drop-down menu, then click the plus icon to add it to your trip. To remove an assistive device, click on the X. Review your trip details and writing options to make sure they're correct, then click Search Trip. You can review your occasional one-way trip details again on this page. If you want to see a map of your trip, click Show on Map. This will show the location of your origin, A, and your destination, B. Click on the Close Window icon on the top left to close the map. You can click on Modify Request if you want to go back and change any details. If everything's correct, click Continue. If you want to add a building type or specific entrance for an address, you can do that here. For landmark locations, you won't be able to add custom instructions. Enter a phone number if you want to be notified before your pickup. The contact number on your profile will be entered by default. Click Submit Request. You have successfully booked an occasional one-way trip. From here, you can email your trip details, book another trip, view all your scheduled trips, or view your trip details.